Before we begin our next story, I have a question for you. What do these things have in common? Major airlines, NATO ships, and your car. They all use a GPS, a global positioning system. This is a navigation system, and it tells us where the magnetic North Pole is. But now, our system needs a major upgrade. Scientists have changed their tracker, because this North Pole is not where it used to be. It is on the move. And it is moving with dramatic speed. Our next report tells you why. This is our planet Earth, and this is the top of the world. In the middle of the Arctic Ocean, this is the North Pole, the geographic North Pole, also known as the True North. Now, what also remains true is that marking the North Pole is quite challenging because the area is covered by sea ice, which is constantly moving. Yes, for theoretical purposes, its geographic location is fixed. And this is crucial for us to tell us when the world is upside down. But funnily, the true north is kind of like the Pythagoras theorem. We don't use it much in day-to-day -day life. What we do use is the magnetic north pole. We use it for navigation. It's on our GPS and it's different from the true north. You may remember this from primary school. The Earth's core has molten metals. They are constantly churning like a moving ball filled with water. And when the metals churn, they create a magnetic field which protects us from the sun's radiation. This is what the magnetic field looks like and these lines converge at the top and bottom of our planet. The topmost point is the magnetic north pole. Now, unlike the true north or our geographic north, you can't trust the magnetic north to stay in one place. And you can blame the molten metals. They keep sloshing continuously. So the magnetic lines are never static. They're always jiggling. So the northernmost point is always on the move. This pole was first discovered in the 1800s. Back then, the pole was situated in the Canadian Arctic. Then it drifted away and moved towards Russia. This was a very slow process, but now the pole is closer to Siberia than to Canada. And this recent shift has happened at a much quicker pace. The North Pole's move has accelerated and it's shocking scientists. No one knows why this pole is dramatically speeding up, but they aren't too worried. Though what bothers them is the accuracy of tracking this move. So now scientists have released a new model. It's a new tracker for the position of the magnetic North Pole. Why? To preserve the accuracy of the GPS. So now, airlines, ships, militaries and even your GPS system, they're all upgrading the tracking software to keep up with the moody magnetic North Pole. Hopefully, Santa Claus has received the message. Or by next Christmas, he may be a lost clause, pardon the pun. From breaking news to the day's biggest controversies, shedding light on the world's top headlines, detailed analysis on the stories that matter the most to you. Catch it all on Spotlight at 6 p.m. India time and 12.30 GMT. Only on First Post.